U.S. military new 30,000-pound bomb released. The GBU-57 Massive Ordnance Penetrator MOP, is a 30,000-pound class GPS-guided bunker buster bomb employed only by the iconic B-2 Spirit stealth bomber. It carries 5,300 pounds of explosive cased in a highly durable steel alloy. The Air Force says it can penetrate up to 200 feet of concrete that's reinforced at 5,000 pounds per square inch (PSI). GBU-57 The GBU-57 is the most destructive weapon of its kind, and when combined with the infiltration capabilities of the B-2 Spirit, MOP serves the United States military with a robust toolkit for neutralizing enemy underground structures used in North Korean and even Chinese militaries. When the MOP was upgraded, the GBU-57B fixed the shortcomings of its predecessors, the VLU-109 and the GBU-28, which was the fuse system. The detonation fuse of prior models was used to trigger before or after reaching the target, and sometimes it did not detonate at all. The U.S. military is upgrading their MOP arsenal to smarter fuses that are capable of counting layers, resisting several feet of concrete impact, and even sending the information regarding the ongoing mission back to military command. Apart from changes to the fuse mechanism, Boeing engineers alleviated the effects of ground impact through sheer size and mass by increasing it to 30,000 pounds and with a 32-inch diameter. The warhead case is made from a special high-performance steel alloy, and its design allows for a large explosive payload while maintaining the integrity of the penetrator case during impact. Are you acquainted with the fact that the GBU-57 weighs more than an F-15 Joint Strike Fighter? The Massive Ordnance Penetrator MOP, the GBU-57, was designed to attack hardened concrete buildings which are mostly underground. Analysis suggested that only 6,000 pounds of the big bomb's weight are explosive. The GBU-57 MOP is a large, GPS-guided and penetrating weapon with the ability to attack deeply buried and hardened bunkers and tunnels. Tests Before live flight missions, the Air Force conducted one static test and flew one captive carry test in August and September 2014 to verify the hardware and software changes implemented in the MOP. In October 2014, the Air Force performed one weapon drop at White Sands Missile Range, New Mexico, on a target to evaluate the effect of the ETR Phase II modifications on the performance of the MOP. An Air Force B-2 aircraft carried out this mission to complete the drop. Targets the commanders in combat use the MOP to perform pre-planned attacks against defended point targets that are vulnerable to blast and require significant penetration. These targets may include hardened and deeply buried facilities. The MOP would target the kind of places that include the underground command and control sites in countries such as Iran and North Korea. These countries have made significant efforts to hide their nuclear activities and nuclear delivery systems underground. MOP was designed to damage or even destroy them if necessary. It is nearly impossible that Israel would have an airplane capable of carrying an MOP unless you look beyond the strike fighters to its fleet of C-130s. In 2017, when Trump was president, a strike was approved on ISIS tunnels and personnel in the Achin district of the Nangahar province, Afghanistan. This mission was carried out by an MC-130 Talon, carrying a GBU-43 Massive Ordnance Air Blast MOAB bomb. However, the MOAB couldn't match the specifications of the MOP as it weighs 22,600 pounds and is over 30 feet long. Its dimensions are almost the same as the GBU-57. MOAB is also a precision-guided weapon. The question is, could the IAF adapt a C-130 to carry the MOP? It is possible, but the airspace of Iran is heavily guarded, unlike the wide-open airspace of Afghanistan. In 2014, retired USAF Lieutenant General David Datula proposed to transfer some MOPs and B-52Hs to Israel. He claimed that at the time, the United States was in negotiation with Iran over its nuclear aspirations. 
The suggestion that Israel receives MOPs and B-52s was taken with more than one interpretation. The delivery of MOPs to Tehran would be a difficult task, requiring multi-domain, multi-dimensional operations with a variety of effects. However, the IAF did the impossible as they took out the Osirat nuclear reactor in Iraq in 1981 and the incomplete of the al Kabar reactor near Diyazur, Syria in 2007. Climax The IAF could also drop MOP, but the Israeli version of the F-15E Strike Eagle the F-151 Ra'am can only carry 18,000 pounds, which is about half the payload of a 30,000-pound GBU-57. The Strike Eagle was cited to have an 81,000-pound maximum takeoff weight and a 31,700-pound empty weight by the U.S. Air Force, which makes it more than 49,000 pounds to play with. Deploying a GBU-57 on Ra'am center line would create dimensional difficulties, but IAF is known to do the impossible. Ra'am's weapon systems, AESA radar, and electronic warfare suite could allow it to operate with multi-domain assets, and it can be refueled in the air. Israelis could have access to the Air Force's new penetrating munition, the Global Precision Attack Weapon, GPAW developed for the Air Force's stealthy B-21 Raider bomber. The GPAW is an outgrowth of the decade-old next-generation penetrator, NGP munitions concept. NGP is one-third the size of the MOP, which makes it compatible with the F-35. The GPAW will not be ready for several years, but the NGP R&D may have already built a smaller bunker-busting weapon, the ADIR, Israel's version of the F-35 could carry this weapon and would be stealthy enough to penetrate Iran's layered air defense. Israel may produce the F-15EX soon as they have shown their interest in the advanced F-15 which offers a great payload. The F-15EX can carry 29,500 pounds of weapons which is almost the same as the MOP. If Israel delivers a massive ordnance penetrator with an existing airplane or a new one, they will have an extraordinary qualitative military edge over other countries. Do you guys think the F-15EX version of Israel can help them utilize the MOP in the future? Be sure to watch our other video, Putin is Scared. This America's new Super F-15EX is shocking Russia.